What's up, YTPC? This is DSG Pipe Smoker with another pipe smoking video. And today, I am going to do the inaugural first light of my Peterson Killarney uh, 120, I think. Yes, Peterson Killarney 120. Uh, in it, I have some Viparati, or Viprati, I think is how it's pronounced. And I've got my massive 48 ounce glass. In it, I have two bottles of Corona. I don't know if you can tell or not, but it is a little bit windy out, and it's snowing a little bit. And also, if we look at the temperature, it is 10 degrees above zero, which means it's about 35, 40 degrees warmer than it was the last few days, which is awesome. So, this will be my first smoke in a while. Also, I found this at the gas station. It's the poo emoji in lighter form, but this lighter can, or it has a canting feature on the nozzle, which I thought was really cool. I figured it'd be a good thing to try on a pipe. So, without further ado, I'm going to light this up, smoke it for a few minutes, give you my thoughts on the uh, draw with the initial light, um, and or I should say the false light, and then the true light. So, here you go, guys. You're witnessing the first time I've ever smoked a Peterson. <clears throat> and particularly this pipe. Oh, come on. Good draw. The P lip I can already tell is gonna be something that I'm gonna have a little bit of difficulty getting used to. Hopefully I can though. But it's why you give pipes time to uh smoke a little bit. Don't wanna jump to conclusions too soon. More than likely it's Operator error. The reason I chose this blend is because, um, if I remember correctly. It's a vapor blend with some orientals in it. I don't remember if it has anything else in it, but in terms of flavor profile, um, it's very balanced. It's a lot more balanced than, say, Deception's Pass. Deception's Pass tends to be more oriental and perique forward. This feels like it's pretty balanced with the rest of the blend. So if anything pops out, like right now I'm getting a lot of Virginia and a lot of Perique. Not so much the Orientals right now, so. Gives me an idea on what the pipe will smoke. So, with that, I'm going to give this phone a break. Let it warm up a little bit. Smoke this pipe down a little bit. And uh, I'm going to respond to Pottsville Piper's contest while well, I still can. So stay tuned for that and stay tuned for my concluding or the concluding section of this video. Alright, I'll be right back. Hey guys, we're back. Still smoking. 
the Peterson Killarney 120. And um, so here's my thoughts on it so far. Not a review, just my personal thoughts so far. It's a very well constructed pipe, it's very basic, holds well, smokes fairly dry so far, but um, the Prati isn't really a wet tobacco, so I'm not too terribly surprised by that. It would be pretty significant if this pipe smoked wet, given that it is a bit proddy. Um, as far as the P-Lip goes, I am getting used to it, even though I've, you know, just started smoking it. I am getting used to smoking it, at least holding it in the hands. I'm having a difficult time with clenching this pipe because I'm used to clenching a pipe basically right up to where the button is on the stem. And on this pipe, the way the P lip is. On it, the way it's angled like that, it tends to, like, draw the smoke right behind my teeth. And not necessarily up into the roof of my mouth, where I'm trying to get it to smoke. And sometimes, in order to, for me to smoke it and clench it at the same time... I have to, you know, bite it down on it pretty far back. So, so far I haven't figured out how to clench it or if I can even clench it at all. If you guys have any tips on that, it would be greatly appreciated. Of course. But so far what I'm finding as far as smoking is concerned, you see how it curves on the bottom? I'm finding that that rests really well on the bottom of my lip, like this. I don't know if you noticed that or not. I can get it to smoke pretty well like that. So, as far as the blend is concerned, it was bringing out a lot of the Virginia and a lot of the Orientals, not a really a whole lot of Perique. Which is nice. Um, some pipes will bring out more of the Perique and balance this blend out a little bit more. This one definitely, um, definitely brought out the Virginias and didn't really bring out the Perique too much, so. But it's good. It's pairing well with my really big glass of Corona. So. That's my first impressions on the Peterson Killarney. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if my thermometer is correct, it's still, well, it might be a little bit warmer than 10 degrees out, but it's a hell of a lot warmer than it has been over the last few days, so I'm gonna stay out here for a little bit, smoke my pipe, in the meantime, this has been DSG Pipe Smoker with another pipe smoking video, you guys have a good day.